Remove the reverse osmosis system from its packaging and check the equipment. Do not open the bag with components. Note that you will not be able to claim missing parts if the bag is opened. Shut off water supply in your kitchen or wall home and open water tap where you are about to install the system on your kitchen sink for one minute to relieve pressure in the system and then close it. Screw the feed water adapter into the cold water plumbing. Screw the feed valve into the feed water adapter. To help prevent water leaks use PTFE sealing tape. Connection size is selected to fit most common size half inch pipe. If your pipe is of another side, prepare an appropriate adapter. Unscrew the compression nut from the feed valve and put it on the red tube. Push the red tube on the end of feed valve's fitting and screw on the compression nut. Connect the free end of the red tube with the quick connection fitting on the first, rightmost housing in the rack. Drill a hole of 5 mm diameter in a kitchen sink drain pipe. Connect the drain saddle with drain pipe from the kitchen sink. The drain saddle is compatible with most standard drain pipes. Apply rubber gasket with sticky base. Include in the package. Install the drain saddle on the drain pipe over the hole. Tighten nuts on drain saddle with a wrench. Insert black tube into the connection on the clamp. Connect the other end of the black tube with concentrate outlet of membrane housing. Put a few turns of PTFE tape on the thread on tank outlet. Screw the tank valve onto the tank outlet. Close the tank valve. Installation of the faucet. To install drinking water faucet, drill 12.5 mm diameter hole in a convenient location at the sink or countertop. Important! Metal shavings can damage your unit. Remove them carefully as soon as you have drilled the hole. If the mounting surface is ceramic or stone, you may need a special carbide drill. Mount the faucet on the sink or countertop as shown on the figure. Not. Lock washer and plastic washer on the faucet shank must fix the faucet firmly on the surface. Take the blue tube, put on compression nut, ferrule and put plastic insert inside, in that order. Push the blue tube as deeply as possible into the bottom of faucet shank, ensuring the compression ring is in the joint. Screw on the compression nut in order to join the tube to the faucet. Installation of the double level faucet for a system with mineralizing past filter is done similarly. Select spot where you are going to install the filter and make two holes. The distance between the holes in the wall must precisely correspond to that between the holes in the bracket. Allow for at least 100 mm gap between the bottom of the filter and floor. Install screw anchors if necessary and screw into screws, not included. The distance between the holes is 272 mm. Insert cartridges into the first and the second housing in the direction of water flow, leftwards. Tighten all the three sumps by hand. Unplug the tube that connects the third housing in the direction of water flow with the outer shut off valve from the valve. Open the water tap and let through the first two pre filters with cartridges one till two gallons of water to wash off the cold dust and may appear in cartridges during shipping. Important! This water will pour through the tube disconnected from outer shut off valve. Prepare a vessel to collect it. Insert the cartridge into the third sump along water flow direction and attach the sump back again. Let through at least 1 till 2 gallons of water to wash off the coal dust. Close the feed valve and connect the free end of the tube back to outer shut off valve. Install the membrane into membrane housing. Important! Cut the plastic bag to install the reverse osmosis membrane. Install the membrane without first unpacking it by pushing it into the housing directly from the back. Avoid touching the membrane and only hold it covered with the bag. Leave the feed valve and purified water faucet open for 30 minutes. Then open the tank valve 
Close the faucet and carefully check all connection for leaks. After the water tank is filled, you will hear the water start flowing. Drain all water from the tank by opening the faucet. After the tank has been emptied, close the faucet so that the tank starts refilling. Depending on the pressure in your water mains, it may take one and a half to three hours. After the tank is filled for the second time, you can use purified water.